Hey guys, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make this lacy stitch number four. And you can do this stitch using any size yarn and any size hook that that yarn recommends. I'm using worsted weight, worsted weight yarn, which is four ply for the US, 10 ply for Australia, and a five millimeter hook or a size H hook for the US. The multiples of this stitch is one, so just crochet until it's the width that you want and then you're ready to go. Okay, I got it the width that I want, so for row one, just going to work, start working in the second chain from the hook. We're just going to be doing single crochets. So just do one single crochet in each chain stitch and I will see you when you get to the end of the row. Okay, and that ends row one. So for rows two and three, for two, the next two rows, you just want to chain one, turn, and you'll be working one single crochet in each single crochet down your row. So you'll be doing that for rows two and row three. Okay, once you've completed rows two and three, you'll have three, a total of three rows of single crochets. Now for row four, you'll chain four and then turn. Now we're going to be doing quadruple crochets and these, this chain of four will count as your first stitch. So you're going to be working your next stitch in the second chain. So you'll wrap it around three times around your hook go into that second stitch of the row, pull up a loop, then yarn over and you'll be pulling through two at a time. So pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and you'll do that four times. Then you'll do that all the way down your row. So wrap it around three times, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, then yarn over and just pull through two loops at a time. You'll do that four times. And then you'll continue to put quadruple crochet in each of your stitches down your row. One, two, three, and four. So just continue to do that to the very last stitch of your row. Okay, when you're done with row four, for row five, you'll chain one and turn. Now you're going to be working, starting in the very first stitch, working one single crochet in all of your quadruple stitches all the way across. And this is going to end the repeat for this stitch, which is rows two through six. So this is essentially like row one when we were working our first set of single crochets in our chain stitch. At the end of the row, you have your chain four. You'll work a single crochet in the top of that chain four. Now again, you're gonna have three rows of single crochet between each of your rows of quadruple crochet. So you have one row of single crochets, so you need to repeat starting for, from row two, uh, where we did two more rows of single crochet, and that'll give you three rows of single crochet. Then you'll start your chain of four and start your quadruple. So it'll be a row of quadruple crochets and then three rows of single crochets. And every quadruple row, you'll chain four and then it will count as your first quadruple. So you'll work your next quadruple and your very first quadruple in your second chain from the hook. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to like and share and comment down below this video. It helps me out so much. And if you're a first time watcher, you haven't got a chance to subscribe, you can go to my main page. You can find all the different kinds of stitches and different playlists, make it easier for you to find warm stitches, lacy stitches. And also uh, right next to the subscribe button, you'll see a little bell button. And if you click that, you'll always be notified whenever I release a new video. Also, if you're wondering what kind of hook I'm using, I'm using a wooden furls hook. You can find this, the link down below this video. And I recommend that you order it with an extended hook. If not, you're only getting, going to get half the size. Also, I have a Facebook group called Crochet for the Masses where you can share links to free patterns. Uh, we really like the pictures where people show us what they're working on. Uh, you can go there and ask questions about crochet. Hopefully somebody will be able to help you. 
And that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching.